One of the myths about the flu vaccine is that you can get the flu from the flu vaccine. And this is not true. The flu vaccine, the injectable vaccine, is uh, composed of inactivated or killed virus. You can uh, get flu-like symptoms, which usually last for about one to two days, which might include fever, body aches, sneezing, coughing, and colds. This is a very common misconception and a very, very hot topic actually these days. Um, a lot of people do believe that the flu vaccine causes autism, but the short answer to this myth is that no, it does not. Numerous studies have been done on flu vaccine among many other vaccines to ensure that there is no link to autism or behavioral disorders. And all of those studies unanimously have shown no statistical association with autism. The flu vaccine is 70 to 90 percent effective most of the time, depending on the strains that we get during that particular year. If ever you do contract the flu after being vaccinated, typically you will have less symptoms and number of days that you will be sick. There are many reasons why people feel the flu is not that serious. One of those reasons is that we often misuse the term flu to describe common colds and other sorts of viruses. Influenza, however, is a very specific group of viruses that cause typically more serious infection than the common cold. For some people, it may be as simple as fever, runny nose, sore throat, uh, muscle aches, headaches, and those sorts of symptoms. However, for many unfortunate people, the flu ends up with other kinds of complications that may even require hospitalization and can include death. Healthy people do need a flu vaccine. Typically, if you do contract the flu, you are already harboring the virus at least a day prior to the onset of full-blown symptoms from the flu. Therefore, you can pass this to other individuals especially to the younger and older population. You do need to get the flu vaccine every year. And the reason for this is because each year we have a different strain of virus or we try to make a strain that's probably going to be effective for that particular year. At the same time, your immunity wanes after a certain period of time. The flu vaccine has been found to be safe in pregnancy. In fact, it's recommended for all pregnant women. Pregnancy is considered a relatively immunocompromised state, meaning that pregnant women are actually some of the highest risk of contracting the flu, becoming severely ill, and having those major complications that we want to avoid. The flu vaccine is recommended during pregnancy, both to protect the pregnant mother and her unborn child. There are many reasons why people consider the flu to be just a really bad cold. One of those reasons is that people oftentimes throw the word flu around when they are talking about a bad cold or a stomach virus. Terms like stomach flu are not actually accurate terms and usually reflect other viruses, but not infections with the influenza virus. The flu is a very specific type of infection caused by one of the many strains of influenza virus, which is oftentimes much more severe and aggressive and can be associated with much more serious complications and death compared with other common cold and other flu-like illnesses. Numerous studies have found the flu vaccine and its components to be quite safe. There is a small amount of a component called thermosol in some forms of the flu vaccine, not in all forms, and in a very small amount. This is a mercury-based component, which is the cause of lots of controversy and has been questioned as to whether or not it may be linked to autism or other types of disorders. And for this reason, the numerous studies have been performed and have shown that there is no link to autism and there is no long-term adverse effects from this very scant amount of thermosol in some components of the flu vaccine.
Most of the side effects from the flu vaccine are usually local reaction, such as redness of your skin, some swelling, and some soreness. You typically don't get the typical flu-like symptoms from a flu vaccine, and if ever you do, it usually lasts for about one or two days with minimal respiratory side signs and symptoms.